Gun violence is something that concerns many, but sometimes statistics can be hard to track or follow. One local artist sought to make the problem more visible by encouraging people to put together origami boxes in remembrance of their loved ones. They're called soul boxes. Fox 12's Jeffrey Limblum shows us how each box details the story of someone harmed by gunfire. Yes, every single one of these boxes represents a man, woman, or child who has been killed or injured by gunfire. And there's just way too many of them. This exhibit at the Madeline Parish Hall features 7,500 boxes, which were originally part of a display of 200,000. And it brings to life the whole display, the people that are really behind all the numbers that we hear every day. It could be um, a message of, of, of love and hope. It could be a message of anger, you know, frustration. Lee says having the display set up like this in such an immersive way is meant to showcase that each incident of gun violence isn't just another zero on the end of a long statistic, but instead an individual person with a family and friends. Statistics are not emotional. People don't understand statistics. Seeing it so like in your face is a very visceral reaction of like, they're all people and they're all ages, all genders, all everything. I mean, it's everybody. It impacts every single person. Lee says she kickstarted the idea after a shooting in Las Vegas in 2017, where 60 people were killed and more than 400 injured. But Lee says mass shootings are just a mere fraction of gun violence. But suicides actually are over half. She says the unfortunate reality is that chances are you know someone affected, like Ann Meixner, whose friend Chris committed suicide a little over a decade ago, and more recently in October, her brother was gunned down. And I still can't wrap my heart around it. And he has two sons, one of them, one of them, the eldest is my godson. The process of putting a soul box together is described as meditative. His family gets to build a soul box for him, not me. But I'll make a soul box for my friend Chris. Lee calls the display artivism, a blend of art and activism. And as a local, she knows Oregon is no stranger to gun violence. The things that we read about are only a small portion of what is actually happening in this state. Which is why to some, the display doesn't come as a surprise. Unfortunately, I don't think it's shocking. And I think that's really sad. Jeffrey Limblum, Good Day, Oregon.